Good evening and a very warm welcome to Mass TV News Live Bulletin at 9. I am Silas Sambani. I am Dan and Juguna. On to our today's highlights. Students raise concerns of time wastage. Mobile phone disrupting learning. KMC bags for trophies at Kitisa. They say time, time wasted will never be recovered. At the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, students waste a lot of time while settling down for their classes. They walk up and down trying to locate classrooms and looking for missing chairs. Our reporter Peter Curia has more on the story. The Kenya Institute of Mass Communication since the beginning of the semester has been experiencing shortage of chairs in the classes. The film department has been hard hit in most of their time looking for chairs. It is very frustrating when you get to class then you don't get to get any seats. So you have to carry and you make noise and it's heavy. My take about this habit of lacking chairs in class it takes a lot of time. You may come to class and find that people have uh, occupied all the chairs. So in a video, you have to take a chair here, and you have to come and you have to come and you have Meaning, you've lacked some content. So it means uh, the institution uh, in a fight where a tour is a chair mob. Most of the students report early for their classes just to find an empty class, a few scattered chairs or even broken chairs. It causes the morning session to begin late as they move around looking for chairs. I think it's not a problem with the film department only. It's a KMC problem. We have so many students and uh, perhaps very few chairs. But the biggest challenge we have is that um, some of the classrooms are not locked. So even if we had enough uh, chairs, the students from other departments keep on shifting chairs from one room to the other. I think what we can do is um, we can lock up our chairs. We set up enough chairs in the classrooms, lock up the rooms, and ensure that the class reps have got uh, the keys so that um, Whenever the students come for class, they simply settle down and after class, they can lock up the classes and go to their hostels or to the next lesson instead of wasting a lot of time running up and down. And another challenge we also have is that um, the students come in late, but if you come in early before the teacher and there's no chair, then you are likely to have enough time to move from one room to the other and look for the chair and settle down before the teacher comes in. But uh, we are doing something in the sense that um, we have advised the students to bring all the chairs so that they can be repaired, so that in future we have uh, uh, enough chairs for the students. The administration has promised to take a look in this matter, which has been over a year. The students who have been optimistic have won't change in this institution as soon as possible. Peter Curia reporting for Mass TV. The digital platform has isn't communication and made browsing faster. But everything under the sun has its pros and cons. And for mobile phones, it has made people unconscious of the environment. Mobile phones have made many youths unconscious of the environment. They tend to work with their phones everywhere in the name of chatting, browsing, or making calls. Poor listening skills and lack of concentration in class are some of the effects that come along with phone usage. Walking along the streets of KMC, students carry around their phones chatting all over. You'll also find them using their phones while eating in the mess. But they also bring about insociability. This is evident among the students of KMC. Fred Moinde reporting for Mass TV. Well, moving on. In a bid to curb the spread of STIs and HIV AIDS, the AIDS Control Unit Club at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication has set dispensers in both ladies' and males' hostel. This has created a heated debate among the students, some of them arguing that this is promoting promiscuity among their college mates. Our reporter Jimmy Gishea has more on the story. With the spread of HIV and AIDS being on the rise, the youth have to be informed. But how should this be done? Students at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication are having mixed reactions regarding the move by the AIDS Control Unit Club to put dispensers at both the male and ladies' hostels. 
the eight control unit club did made a very effective move in putting up those di condom dispensers in the hostels because it made it easier to access condoms and that preventing the spread of HIV and AIDS. Some of the students term the move as wrong, with most of them suggesting that there is a different way of approaching the issue. While some of them think educating the students could resolve the problem, majority of students still prefer to get the condoms from the shops and surrounding chemists. Whether right or wrong, the club's move is. It still remains a debate that only students at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication and the administration are yet to resolve. Reporting for Mass News, I'm Jimmy Gisheha. Ladies, pay attention. The process of self-objectification is something that most ladies go through in a bid to try and fit in the society around them. At the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, that is no different. Ladies have unique ideologies about their hairstyles. Take a look. It is at Kenya Institute of Mass Communication where a large number of ladies will march to pursue different courses of their own interest. My hair, my beauty, it makes me feel confident about myself and it completes my fashion look. It is interesting how different ladies will come up with different hairstyles as they tend to feel the image of the society around them. My hair makes me look, feel confident of myself, makes me look beautiful and helps me face the world in a different perspective. I like my hairstyle because first it's beautiful and being a student not working, it's cheap to my day. Well done. Yes. You see, like, uh, fashion really takes, takes everything in, in the world. Yes, it like, does. Ladies really treasure their hairs. They do. So, uh, personally for you, what do you consider when choosing a hairstyle or, or when deciding this is what I want to put on, on my head? Uh, I think uh, the most outstanding consideration is the budget. Because hair is very costly. Yeah, it's So it's once costly. you have a good budget, you can choose your hair there. <laughs> Well then, viewers back at home, thank you for staying tuned for the first quarter of the live bulletin news at 9. Join us after the break. Welcome back to the bulletin. We move to the money making world. Silas, what do you have in the business news? In the business news, we can see like students are now uh, trying as much not to be dependent of their parents. Mm -hmm. They are at least engaging themselves in little activities that can, can at least bear them some fruits to curb their necessities. Wow, nice. So students, pay attention to the business news. Talent is a God-given ability that one has to embrace. At the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, Patrick Ogechi, a second-year film student, is using his talent to make money. He makes bids using locally available material. Our reporter Cynthia Mwangi has more on the story. Bid making is a unique and rare talent in the Institute. Patrick finds a way into the student's heart by making pretty and affordable bracelets they had to be making, I discovered them from a friend. My work, it's kind of healthy. So it just jumps up your mind. But it's very fun. Anything that interferes with my studies and my business. So everything has its own thing. Bit by bit, he puts them together and comes up with bracelets for the students. Patrick is doing a good job. I love his art. I don't have one, but I'm planning 
going to soon and be having one. Welcome back to the bulletin. We move to the last quarter of the bulletin, which is the sports news. So Douglas, yes. What's new in the sports disc? About the about the sports we shall be having about a Jua game and about the surprising improvement from the Kenya Mass about Ketisa games. Well, we can't wait. Join us after a short while. Well, the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication emerged that best in this year's intercolleges competition popularly known as Ketisa. The institute improved from the last year's position 10. The game was held at the Technical Development Center. Our reporter has more on the story. The mood of, of celebration at the KMC has lingered on the aftermath of the Ketisa games. The hockey, badminton, Table tennis and lawn tennis teams brought back victory, having clinched the third overall position among ten other colleges. To make it again, to make win, to make a shule, to make ali, because we have been striving to to as to do it to nine hours. Now that we have known that we are position three, next round to make it to make it more to sasa. We are just prepared, we are just ready. No matter that no one at na piga tizi after the games in Malaysia to go to sasa. The school has been performing dismally in the past and clinching the third position was a surprising improvement. Students echoed they really needed this win to keep up the good name of the institution known for producing the best media practitioners in the country. Joining KMC and I found badminton being played at KMC, it was something that I liked. And thanks to our coaches and everyone who supported us because this year it was successful. The institute administration has promised to facilitate funds for new game equipment and also pay coaches to train the players. This has assured that the institute's name will not be tinted and the students will continue raising their flag high. Reporting for Mass TV, Peter Kioria at KMC. A game that is popular at the Kenyan coast is finding its way at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Kode, as it is known, the game is Game Film where the institute called it Ajua. The game is played by both male and female students. Kenya Institute of Mass Communication students know that too much work with no play makes Jack a dull boy. They have come up with a new way of spending their free time after classes. Ajua is a game played on the ground where 10 holes are dug. The players play using small pebbles which they place in and out of the holes on the ground. The game is played by two players. Ajua ni game ya chizwaga, ni game ya shimo. Shimo zina chimbua kumi. Alafu wanaeka tu balls, balls. Kila shimo wanaeka balls tano tano. Awa mneze kasita. Alafu mchezaji ya na chukua balls. Ana zungusha zungusha kwa shimo. Akipitisha kwa shimo mbi, moja yake. Uwe mchezaji mingine pia kwa na shimo yake. Kushini la ditameni wanga vile. Mwenye kwa na balls nyingi kwa shimo yake ya home. The game requires maximum concentration. It helps the student relax their minds after a long day in class. Ajua is played by both female and male students. Mi uwe enjoy ajua kwa sababu wakati zote na pocheza mi uwe nda kuwa mshindi mwishoe. Saa we wapinzani wangu dhani kuwa na danganya kwenye mchezo lakini a ni kushinda tu na kufraia. kila mtu na joe upenda kufraia kwa mshindi. KMC students have embraced the game, using it as a way of keeping boredom at bay. Paris Kimani, That's all that we had the line for you for Sports News. So, Douglas, yes. you see like uh, Kenya Institute of Mass Communication performed pretty well in the Ketisa games. Yes, you know they say there are those who constantly win for and there are those who acquire. Wow, Yes. that's interesting. <laughs> Diana, what can you say about the performance? Uh, first of all, congratulations to the team and keep up the good job. Mm. And I also congratulate the um, administration for providing equipment yeah, and the, also the coaches. The, the coaches, yes, the yeah. management team. Yes. Uh, what do you think is it enhanced the victory? I think practice. 
practice made them perfect. Oh, yes. You know, the last time I, I, I went to, to visit the school yeah. and uh, I got the, the the students were really working hard. They were really practicing hard. Ah. Mm -hmm. So I I mean the the fruits have been have, have been shown. Yes, I think the coaching process was quite very good. Mm -hmm. Too bad uh, yeah. our director is telling us our time is up. We need to wrap. So we could have talked more about the the sports, but we have to say bye bye. I've been your uncle Silo Zambani. I Douglas Kagere. I am Dan and Juguna. Join us tomorrow for some real time updates. But for now, good night. Have a blessed night. Yeah.